Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel. And in the video today, we're looking at what those nasty white chunks that sometimes come from your throat are. Have you ever gotten foul-smelling, small, whitish chunks that you can sometimes feel at the back of your throat when you swallow? Concerned you might have some rare disease or cancer? Well, don't be. These are called tonsilloliths or tonsil stones and are both relatively harmless and fairly common. Most people experience these little white balls at the back of their throat at one point or another in their lifetime, though many people don't even know they ever had them, having coughed them up or otherwise swallowed them without even realizing. Whether due to never knowing they had them or these things' inherent grossness, this widespread affliction is rarely talked about and the awareness of it is very low. So what causes tonsil stones and what are they exactly? Tonsilloliths are stinky little globs of mucus, dead cells, debris, and bacteria that form in the tonsil crypts, which are simply small pockets or divots that appear in everyone's tonsils. When the trapped muck hardens via calcification, it becomes a whitish-yellow ball in the tonsil pockets. They usually appear as tiny little chunks in the shape of a cauliflower, though can sometimes be rather large and round or cornut-shaped. In fact, while they are usually small, the largest on record rang in at a whopping 42 grams. Unsurprisingly, this can cause discomfort in the throat when swallowing and in some cases uncomfortable side effects, including sore throat, ear pain, and tonsillitis. If this all wasn't gross enough for you, they also smell like they could wake the dead. The strong unpleasant odor is caused by a buildup of sulfur-producing bacteria that feeds on the tonsil stones, collecting in the crypts of the tonsils and producing such wonderful smelling emissions as hydrogen sulfide and methyl mercaptan, among other stinky substances. If you've ever had unexplainable bad breath that just won't go away no matter how many times you brush your teeth, you might want to take a close look at the back of your throat to see if you're currently suffering from tonsil stones, as they are one of the many causes of halitosis or bad breath. While anyone can get them, tonsil stones tend to occur most often in people who suffer from chronic inflammation in their tonsils or repeated bouts of tonsillitis. On the flip side, people who've had their tonsils removed rarely experience them. So if you're wondering how to deal with these little tonsil nuggets, there are some effective treatments for reducing the occurrences. Removing one's tonsils is an option, but not the best solution as tonsils play an important role in your immune system. Easy home treatments like gargling salt water or not non-alcoholic mouthwash is often advised for getting rid of them. A water pick that emits pulses of water is also a useful tool for cleaning the tonsil crypts, though your mileage may vary depending on your ability to suppress your gag reflex. On that note, the simplest solution is to use a cotton swab or toothbrush so you can push the nasty little things out and rinse your mouth free of them. Yummy! So I really hope you found that video interesting and maybe we answered a question for you. If you did, please do click that thumbs up button below this video. Also, check out some of our other videos which are over there on the right. You might enjoy those as well. And thank you for watching.